welcome to a class episode of Who's Doing the Dishes. Today, our secret celebrity host will be cooking a three-course meal for the diners in this Surrey house. There'll be six clues, and all the team will have to do is guess who the mystery host is. But first, can you at home guess who it is? <sighs> so lost. I'm trying to find a grange on top of a hill. Has anyone seen a grange on top of a hill? I bet today's celebrity wished they'd have paid more attention in class. I, on the other hand, excelled at maths. So they had a problem I can't solve. Ah, the ham mo. The mo. Um, oh, set it up. Well, if our team get it right, they'll win another 500 pounds towards their weekly pot. Plus, our celebrity has to do their own dishes. Dishes? Have I no, you big buffoon? <laughs> remember, if our team don't get it after six clues, they can always opt for one more extra special clue, known as Brian's bonus. And what are our skills today? So, have you worked it out yet? Well, today's secret host is Grange Hill's naughtiest school boy, Zamo, a.k.a. Lee McDonald. <laughs> Hello, mate. How are Hi, you? Hi, Brian. Pretty good, thanks. And all excited about today? Yeah? Let's go food to the garden and have a cup of tea. Absolutely. <laughs> Lee McDonald is best known for his role as the chief prankster school boy, Zamo, in Grange Hill. <laughs> he became the face of a national anti-drugs campaign with the hit song, Just Say No. And even took his message stateside to the White House to meet none other than Nancy Reagan. He now owns a successful locksmith business. And more recently, he's made a comeback starring in a UK horror flick, and he did it now. Do you know, I used to love watching Grain Chill as a kid. So how did you get into it? Right, the, the only reason I got the part, and this is quite mad, I used to go to drama club, yeah. and then the audition came up for Grain Chill, and I went along, and uh, what they were doing at the time, it was Jonah and Zama, they're looking for like a good-looking, suave one, obviously not me, and uh, a toughy character, which was his sidekick. And I turned up, and I had a skinhead, I boxed, I had the boots, I just, uh, so they just cast me on the basis that I looked like a thug. It must have been surreal. I've mean, been a fan of the show, yeah. and next thing you're actually in it. I was, so I remember going to a museum with the school, we went to the school, and then uh, security said, yes, you know, your pupil's got to leave, because there was a girl's school chasing me, it's just brilliant. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't happen now. So obviously that was when you were a boy, so what do you do now? I got a locksmith shop about 16 years ago, but I've got a new agent now, so I'm starting slowly to get back into doing TV work, I think, because it took a long time for people to lose the Zamo, and I think that was difficult at first. Um, but even now, I turn up to auditions and they're like, uh, is Zamo? It's, uh, it's going to be a toughie. And what about your cooking skills? Right, okay, leaves a lot to be desired. Um, I don't do much cooking. At all? The thought of it uh, frightens me. Obviously, it'll be a double. <laughs> Well, it's not like you've got four food experts coming to dinner or anything. Yummy, 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 yummy. Please, team foodies. Like they had a sour start to eat. It's Jim and Business. Yeah. But they tasted sweet success last night. Get the green on it, Last night, we got a nice champagne for winning, and that was amazing. It's like a crown, isn't it? That definitely suits you, Adam. <laughs> Team Foodies have really come back now, and we're really enthusiastic and can't wait for the next win. I'm feeling really confident today that we're going to nail the clues. I'm hoping for maybe a boxer, or possibly a chef. Tonight, it doesn't matter who gets the celebrity, as long as we win. That's what I'm particular about. We have to win the money tonight. So, no pressure there, Lee. We'd better get cooking up those clues. Right, what's for starters? Oh, quite simple, we've got uh, pate. <laughs> pate on bread. <laughs> You're really showing your culinary skills today, aren't you? Right, and what are you going to call this? Chicken and liver pate set on a series of crusty loaf slices. And the clue obviously there is set and series because you're always on set and you're in a TV series. Absolutely. <laughs> so what was it like being on Grain Shield every day? Because you're obviously so young. You kids must have got up to some serious pranks on that set. We did. Before we done our lines, we get the script to make paper airplanes so who could fly them the furthest out of the window. So by the time they called us in to rehearse, none of us had a script. <laughs> So we're like, <laughs> the producers would go mad, and this would happen all the time. What was your favourite moment on Grey's Hill? Um, my favourite moment ever was the first series, the first episode I ever filmed was at Cheswick and Zoo, when I first met the kids, and Roland was there, and Faye and Annette, and we run riot in Cheswick and Zoo, and I think that, that sticks in my mind as my best ever episode of memory of Grey's Hill. Let's hope these better behave tonight, because Team Foodies are on the way, and they mean business. I think we can pull out a bag of those Definitely. Definitely got to be taken over the Now that we've won, because it's in the last, we are going to smash it. Woo! Team Foodies! Team Oh, what's the oh, we've got sausage and mash. All right. And uh... Where is it? Well, uh, the mills should have been here. Uh, they're in the boot of a car on their way. Boot of a car? What is going on with all of this? 
Is this microwave food? It is, it is. That's the only way to cook it, I've tried to teach him over the years a little things on toast, maybe, but nothing. He prefers a 30 second and a pin. Yeah, but that's more, much more like a school dinner, isn't it? And I quite like the school dinner time, so that is perfect. You've got bangers and mash, you're away, and it takes four minutes to do a meal. But, you know, I, I love the fact that you two are still friends. Surely you must have some mad stories about him when you're growing up. Well, we had some wicked times. We used to, um, at the BBC, I remember, they would turn the lights off in the changing room when the tube was there. Enough. And hangers and everything would go everywhere. And I remember us banging on the, um, the young one's door and them chasing thought, us yeah, down the... Um, no, I didn't. Yeah, chances. they were mad at us down the <laughs> corridor. <laughs> After 30 years, that we still, you know, we still speak once a week. We do a lot of work together. Yeah, we, we do. We do. People do. You know, we are now rolling as ever. We're not like the poor version of Anthony Deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you fancy joining us for some dinner today? No. <laughs> <laughs> let's get this. Uh, let's get this cracking. Got one special tool for this, right? And it's the magic ring. You just have the one for it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> now, is there any particular skill to this? Sorry? There is. There is. It's the way you actually fork it. We get it there. It needs to be there. There's a certain grip in it. Yep. Yep. You go. Wow. And that is it. So that's, that's one bill ready to go. All right, what are you going to call it? This is a class dish, sausage and mash and crabby cabbage. And obviously the clue there is school dinners. Absolutely. Right then, that's your pricking. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. They don't look too clever like that, but once they're on the plate, they'll look fine. Guys, I'm just starving. I'm so excited to eat tonight. I'm so happy to be out there, but yeah, I do as well. Well, it's good for last two, right? It was worth it. I can't get that. What are we having for dessert? Uh, we're going to have a sponge cake. Are you going to make a sponge cake? I am indeed. Well, I was given the recipe. I've never cooked it before, but I'm going to have a try. OK, what are you going to call this sponge cake? It's going to be called Troublesome Sponge Pud with Naughty Gloopy Custard. I like that. So obviously the clue relates to the fact that your character was a naughty boy yep. and always in trouble. Now, of course, the, the, the character you played in Grenchill had a, a bit of a drug problem. And uh, did not lead to a whole campaign to just say no or you the single and everything? It did. We did a, um, a massive... For, initially, it was only going to be released to go to raise money for rehabilitation centres. Um, but it entered the charts and it got to number five in the charts. Do you remember the song? To say no, don't listen, don't listen to anyone else. <laughs> but the story is, is I can't sing, which obviously you've just <laughs> found out. And, and they said to me, the BBC said, right, it's your picture on the record, you've got a front of the record. So I'm miming and I'm doing weightlifting on the video because I can't dance. <laughs> so I can't sing or dance on the front of the record because it's number five. Do you know what you're doing here? Uh, the mum told me how to do it, and I, I think I'm going to surprise myself here, Brian. Uh, you're really surprising me already. It's goofy, all right? Yeah, it's, it's getting there. As I say, I've never, ever done one of these before, so you can never tell. Oh! It's a bit goofy, so I think we're, we're on a winner. Right, what are we going to call it again? It's a troublesome sponge cake. Pud. Pud. With a naughty, stroopy... Gloopy. Gloopy? <laughs> That's enough. It's a troublesome... It's a troublesome sponge pud with a gloopy, naughty, gloopy custard. That's it. We've done it. We've done it. We'll just write it on the screen. There you go. That's the clue. Well, you foodie folk are in for a treat tonight. But first, it's time to put on your blindfolds to keep our location a secret. Okay, Lena, just about to arrive, so for the rest of the evening, you're going to have to stay in the kitchen. But I brought you this monitor, so you can watch and hear everything that goes on in there. Cool. Right, enjoy. Yeah, we will. Guys, you think I'll be blindfolds? Hello there. Hi. Hey. Are you excited? Yeah. Ready to do it all again tonight? Yeah. yeah. For it. Let's go, team foodies. So, team foodies, pretty pleased with last night. Get it right? Very yeah. happy. Right, well, it all starts again tonight. We've got a brand new celebrity in the kitchen. You're going to have three more meals, six clues, and another chance to take Brian's bonus. You get it right, you win £500. Plus, our celebrity has to do the dishes. But if you get it wrong, you get nothing. And you'll be doing the dishes. No dishes tonight. Ready to crack on? Yep. yep. Team Foodies, wish you luck. Coming up, Team Foodies have high expectations. The dishes are really good and they're going to be But their hopes quickly go down the drain. You'll put down. Don't worry, we'll have an impress on the starter. You'll kill them at the names. How will Team Foodies work out how this dramatic clue needs to be McDonald's? Yeah. 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 What is this kid doing? Yeah. 
is simple but it looks good it does remind me what it's called it's called chicken liver pate yep. set on a series of crusty loaf slices brilliant and obviously the clue there is set and series because you were on the set of a tv series absolutely i like it lee starter is a nod to his school days but will team foodies get an a plus for their first clue there you go so folks first impressions what are we thinking hmm, nice modest house maybe owned by a man okay let me say it could be a chef this is unbelievable to think I'm a chef and they've not even lifted the lid off the sausage. It's going to be uh, amazing. Right, well, let's see if this first clue will uh, reconfirm any of those ideas. This is your starter. This is chicken liver pate set on a series of crusty bread slices. Toast. Wow. Yes, toast. I'm impressed. I like toast. No. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know if I like toast. This is definitely real dark, James Martin. Hold on, guys. If it's shop bought, eh? Yeah. Mm. But if it's homemade, uh... no, 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 no. This looks shop bought. This looks like one of them pieces of pate that they cut in half. Spread a little happiness, love. Yeah, we're only a clue, sweetheart. It's fine. It'll be probably nice, but I don't yeah. think it'll be chef. It's it's definitely chef. No way. Chef thing's gone right out the window. That was quick. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> I think it's a bit of a cheat, really, to give us a start like this. It's All pretty cool. Right. Where do they get the mains? <laughs> They haven't made an effort at all. To me, that is a massive, massive effort. effort. So I think uh, the clue there was series. Series, yeah. yeah so what TV series? What, what TV series? Yeah. 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 If it's not a soap, what other series? Oh, drama, She's just holding it like that. <laughs> She's afraid, David. I think it's a sort of man. Yeah. Um, when men cook, they either can really cook, or they don't really cook. It took you a good ten seconds to get that out of the bucket. <laughs> any men in any series that we know? <laughs> It could be near, it could be old. Well, I know we're chuck a couple of names in, but to be honest, I can't think of anybody that would do. Oh, really? Fish this up. <laughs> that is cheeky. I would say it's probably a person that pops in and out and takes away all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they got you already. <laughs> Spot on. Oh, no, I'm impressed. Are you okay, Darren? What do you think? Look at it. <laughs> Seriously. Don't worry, if you haven't impressed him with the starter, you'll kill him with the names. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what's never going to serve that trash to be honest. Um, it's probably one of the worst starters that I've ever been served. It's rubbish. But it tastes alright, but it just isn't. It's like this tonight, I'm going to be doing the takeaway. Yeah, I really hope the food improves because I'm not having this. I'm panicking now because I do love a ding meal and I'm not sure that everybody sees it that way. It's an acquired taste, I think. Well, now I realise it is. <laughs> this celebrity is cooking the food. He's either can't cook or he's having a laugh. Well, let's give them the next clue. What have you got for me? The next clue is a baby goat, which yep. is a kid mm -hmm. with a drama mask on. So, kids, kids drama. drama. All right, I like a kid's drama. Now, come here, I want to show you a trick. <laughs> right, put your right hand down there. Right, watch this then. Don't move. Okay, hang on. Okay, number down flat. Down flat. There we go. Put your other one down here. All right. I'll right, see you later. Yeah. And what's happening there? The trick. Alright, <laughs> guys, how was that? Not impressed. No. No. How was it? I didn't eat it at all. It was rubbish. I enjoyed it, but I don't think this is a celebrity chef. Well, what did you get from the clue? Someone from a series, possibly male. Would you like another clue? Yeah. Let's go to the sit room. Ooh. <laughs> You know what, after that starter, I'd be surprised if they ate the goat. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay, guys. Well, yeah. we've got that's theatre. That that's theatre. Yeah. And what is this? A cow? A sheep? A goat? Today. Yeah. A goat. <laughs> so, any association with goats and theatre? I like to go to the theatre all the time. Then I'll get over. Do you have any animals that are in a play? I'm the cat and the Lion King. <laughs> which, which that is neither. Um, okay. So someone who's maybe been in the theatre and also in the series. Well, I'm, I'm missing it completely here. And they're going for the theatre rather than the drama. The smiley face in the fair play. Yeah, that's that, that symbolism. <laughs> I think it's fair to say, not a clue. Ah. Oh, there we go. Is it a Billy Goat? A Billy Goat. Uh, Billy, Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot. Billy Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Elliot. <laughs> Can you do ballet, no? Someone who might be associated with Billy Elliot. Yeah. Oh, the person's name, Gilly. I've got a funny feeling Brian Bowler's might have been today. <laughs> Just a hunch. I think they're going to need it. <laughs> to be really truthful, does it really look like a goat to you? I don't know much of a goat to me. Yeah. I think it is a sheep. A sheep. A sheep. <laughs> What's another name for a goal? Isn't it a kid? Oh, they're just a kid. It could be... Jody Kid? Jody Kid. Jody. What's her name? Jody Kid. Actually, let's not spend too long on this. Let's not spend too long on it, yeah, because you got it. You're, you nailed it. It's <laughs> nearly there. Yeah, they could have been young when they were in the theatre. Kid, yeah. theatre, yeah, young. Yeah. Who are now in a series. Yeah. So someone who started off in the theatre young and, and then, then maybe in a series. Maybe. Well, you know what? I think we should get on with the maze because I have a feeling this is going to take forever. <laughs> Coming up, the food might be going cold. Oh, that's right here. Yeah. 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 He's spotted out! He's spotted out! Nice. Spotted out. Team Foodies are getting hot. There's something to do with skill. Uh, okay, with skill. And let's see if Team Foodies will piece the exam and work out this clue. I've got a clue, huh? Ryan, chill. Ryan, chill. Ryan, chill. Ryan, chill. Who's doing the I'm in the kitchen with today's secret celebrity host, Lee McDonald, and he's prepping his mains on the microwave. And after a world class start, the team food is away the mains, hoping that the chef will keep up to his clean and So far, Lee's failed to impress with his chefing skills. Well, I'm probably impressing an option in the house, I think that's all it's on. What's the lack of food starting to affect them by the second clue? Yeah, I'm like, is it cow? Okay. Sheep? Goat? Do they think it is a sheep? Can these main course give the team enough food for thought? Keep them away from those dreaded dishes. What are you doing out there? Look at the time. Away. Well, I'm going to be having a take away this, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, I've got sauce on the mash. It's not going to look professional now. This is proper Mitchell style stuff. This. <laughs> I have no idea what they're doing out there. They've only got a theme four of us, not forty. What is this? Oh, somewhere. Yeah, let me make a Make it look good. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What are you laughing for? It's got to be one of the best we've ever had in the show. And not for the right reasons. <laughs> right, okay, remind me what it's called. Right, this is a class dish of sausage and mash and crabby cabbage. And obviously the clue is class. class. For a school class for grade two. <laughs> so, will team foodie learn anything from this old school dish? <laughs> <laughs> so, what did we find in there? Before I give you your main, <laughs> we found a potentially a Billy Goat. Yeah. Some theatre clue. Okay. So it could be someone in the theatre or from the series or both. Maybe Billy Elliot, like from the theatre show. But well, then obviously it's someone in the series. I don't know. Okay. Well, then maybe this clue might get you on the name run. This is your main course. This is class sausage and mash with some crabby cabbage. <laughs> Especially on that plastic plate. Seriously, are you having a lot? 
I'm more space to eat this. That's what dinner every night. Oh my god, class, guys, this is a school dinner. <laughs> it's something to do with school, or a series of school, or yeah, something. What is it? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> There was a cartoon in the beginning where they threw sausages um, across the table. Um, so this is representing that beginning intro. He's got that really quickly. Yeah, that's quick. So it could be Todd's cart, huh? But I don't know. Oh, these sausages are revolting. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> this is cheesy. I love you sticking away. He's not even thinking about it. Oh, what's in my mouth? These are horrible sausages. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Look, it's lifted. It's here, it's all right. Oh, my God. Oh, there you go. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. It's spun it out. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. I am fuming. I eat that every night, and it's fine. And it's spun out. I think you must have just got used to it. My school dinners were never as disgusting as this dinner. This is gross. Definitely a takeaway tonight, don't you? Yep, definitely. Oh, they're gonna get a takeaway. Yeah, it's nice. Mash is all right. See, the mash is nice, look. Five out of ten. Mash is all right. Oh, there. There you go, the mash is all right. Quid's in. Do we know any other actors from Grange Hill? Grange Hill. Do you remember in Grange Hill, there was a character who um, had a drugs overdose? Uh oh. And then he did a song um, with the other actors to do called Just Say No. There's got to be something in Krabby's as well. They wouldn't have just said Krabby cabbage for no reason. What's the Krabby about? Oh, the Krabby is just to throw them off. It's just to put them off and it adds funny because they're... I don't think you need it. I think the food's throwing them off as we are. Need more clues. Need more clues. They were the biggest fans of the food, but it could have been worse. <laughs> well, it couldn't be much worse. No, it couldn't really. No, no. no. They slaughtered it. Pretty they? bad, yeah. Okay, so we've had Grange Hill mention, sort of floating around the idea of us. Let's give him the next clue. What have you got? Right, and the next clue is a bag of grain yeah. and a chill box. Okay, so, so grain chill. chill. I like that. Where is, is it? Cool. It's out in the garden. It's a bit hot here, so I've actually made you this little drink. So, if you are an absolute <laughs> star, but thank you. Yeah. It's jelly. What about the glue? Well, there's something there about class which could suggest maybe classroom. Okay. It could be something from Grange Hill. College. Right. You know, it could be a teacher, it could be a pupil, but an actor in the field and going to theatre. Right, would you like another clue then? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Here's the guy. Right, so what have we got there? Grain. What kind of grain is it? It's like corn. Yeah, yeah it's corn. It says and corn. Grange. A kilo of Grange. Grange. Yeah. What is what about here? Grange Chill. Grange, Grange Chill. Chill. Yeah. Just say you. Yeah. So we know the character from Grange Hill. Yeah. And the only ones that I know of is still Todd Carter. Who's that girl in Birds and Feathers? Was she in Grange Hill? That was Linda Robson, and she was not in Grange Hill. She was in something when she was younger, though. Linda Linda Robson wasn't in Grange Hill. We'll take Linda Robson, though. We'll take another dishes. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. Look at that. There's more food than dishes, really. Yeah, I just looked at that. <laughs> Look, they're not getting anywhere, and I'd like to learn a little bit more about you. I think now's a good time to do my fads facts. Let's look fads facts. <laughs> Who's the naughtiest on set? Possibly me. What's the worst prank you did on Grange Hill? One of the lads, we put water in his bed, hoping not to stand awake, and he woke up before he went to the bed. <laughs> Who's the most famous person in your phone? Ah, uh, Benito. When's the last time you did the dishes? I don't do the dishes. <laughs> Who would play you in a movie about your life? Oh, well, Brad Pitt. Who's your favourite boy band? Wessel. <laughs> At the moment, I think the only name we've got... It's Todd Carter. Realistic, Carter, name. realistic name. Yeah. There were other characters that were also doing other things, but I can't remember the names. Yeah. Okay. Annoyingly, there was this other... Oh, I got it, there's Zamo. <laughs> Zamo. Yeah, that's the one I was trying to say. Zamo, yeah, there's Zamo. Zamo. The short guy. Pulled it, receding a little bit. Yeah. You've agreed there. That's fine, it's fine. He got, he was controversially, he was, he died of a drugs overdose. And he went to America to promote this song with um, Nancy Reagan. And it's yeah. called, um, oh, what did I just say it was called? Um, just Say No. 
Oh, he knows uh, how to just say no. Just say no, no, just say no. <laughs> At least you're not the only person that can't yeah. say it. <laughs> you can imagine the Zamo guy is yeah. the one that can't really cook and just... <laughs> but I don't, his, I don't know his real name. Do you know his name? Silver Club. That elusive sick blue is hard to crack. Billy Smith. Billy Smith. Billy Smith. Yeah, Billy Smith. Yeah. I'm joining back in the break to see if Team Blue is an eight point bonus. Welcome back to Who's Doing the Dishes. I'm in the kitchen with today's secret celebrity host, Zaho, aka Lee McDonald, and he's uh, waiting on dessert. Where is it? It's in the microwave. Just wait for it to think. Well, in here, Team Foodies are waiting dessert and their final two clues. We'll find out. They can guess who's in the kitchen. So far, they've been served up four clues. It's morning, five minutes after. Oh my god, class, guys, this is a stew of dinner. Grange chill. Grange chill. Grange chill. But they left a bad taste in their mouth. He <laughs> spat it out! He nice. spat it out! I can't believe he just spat my mirror. Time for the dessert. And in typical Lee fashion, we just have to wait for the magic thing. That's okay, that's okay, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 really hot. <laughs> oh. oh, it's, um... It smells nice. No. <laughs> I've never seen anybody bake a cake in a microwave before. Did you ever think about going on the Great British Bake Off? Uh, I was going to do I was thinking about doing that with a microwave. Oh, nice, Chef. <laughs> well, remind me what it's called. Troublesome sponge pud with naughty gloopy custard. Like a song. <laughs> Troublesome sponge pud. With, with naughty gloopy custard. Trouble tea dumps. I just did the work. I remember that. <laughs> And obviously that's because your character was always in trouble. So, we'll leave a homemade dessert clue to a piece of cake for Team Foodies. There you go. So, what did you find at the back? Thanks to Kimberly, she came up with a clue. Grange Chill, Grange Hill. Okay, yeah. and what's that telling you? Well, we definitely think it's the one from Grange Hill. It's either Zamo <laughs> or um, Todd Carter. Well, okay, is that the two names you have at the moment? Yeah. 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 Short on names tonight, aren't we? It's yeah, nice. No. Doesn't mean you're wrong. You're having a bubble. No! This is troublesome sponge pud with naughty gloopy custard. <laughs> but it's certainly gloopy, isn't it? Naughty and Tr trouble. gloopy trouble. Well, the thing is, though, both of those characters in Grange Hill were naughty and troublesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, everyone in Grange Hill was naughty yeah. and troublesome. It's getting close. Yeah, I'm not feeling afraid tonight. Yeah. They need to go a bit more Todd, I think. <laughs> But he certainly can't cook anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> if I'd have said to you, cook a meal in a microwave, they wouldn't have made a better job than I did. Really? I am the microwave king. <laughs> but it obviously not really worked out too well, has it? I'm thinking, if it was Todd Carter, then we would have had an EastEnders clue by now. <laughs> so, maybe now it's more Zamo? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, this certainly tastes different to how it looks, for sure. I actually quite like it. Not enjoyed that. No. Whoever you are, celebrity, you owe me a takeaway because I've had nothing to eat all day. Do you not want your non-happy yours? Yeah, you can have it. Okay. Really not. And the pud, they're, they're happy with the pud. Mm. You just mentioned as well, though, you thought that uh, Gamal character looked look naughty. <laughs> he was particularly was naughty, naughty, actually. Was he? So now the clues are steering towards him. The troubled, mm. the troubled, the troubled youth. youth. Right, that's given the final clue. What have you got for me? Right, next year I've got a box yeah. with lots of different Smiths in. We've got Will Smith, Sheridan Smith. Will oh, Smith. yeah, Doctor Who Smith. <laughs> 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 All right, so I get it. So inside a locked box. And we're going to lock it. And, and I am also a locksmith. Locksmith. I see what you did there. That's I like it. How was the dessert? I enjoyed this, isn't it? No, you did. Really good. Did you really? Yeah. It, the clue um, still suggested would be naughty of two Grange Hill characters, but it's varying to one person. Is it for me? We think it might be Zaman. Well, you've got one final clue and it's sitting in front of me. And let's see if that will help you decide what your final answer is. Oh my god, who's in it? Who's it? 
<laughs> okay, we have some celebrity cut out. That's um, Matt, Matt Smith from Doctor Who, yeah. Bill Smith, yeah. That's um, Sheridan Smith. Oh, right, they're all Smith. Yeah. So they got the Smith part. It's probably someone who's called Smith. Okay. Zana would have been his nickname at school, it wouldn't have been his real name. Yeah. So it might have been something Smith. Yeah. I think they're going to try and think of the Constable Smith. Yeah, I think they're going to think that your name is Smith. Yeah, rather than yeah, Fox yeah, Smith. yeah. Billy Smith. William Smith. That's a long name for Billy. Is it William? Yeah, maybe his name's William Will Smith. Smith. Yeah, it's Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith, I'm sorry. Any programmers called Smith? Mr. and Mrs. Smith? Or Smith Smith or Safe Smith? Smith Safe? Um, Smith. I think this actually might be the Brian bonus could actually happen tonight. Yeah. I think yeah. they're going to be... <coughs> So confused that they might need it. Lock, 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 lock. Oh, they got it! Wow! <laughs> they make the lock. After all, there's four keys in there, so L F K. Four letter word. Could be. Well, look, I think I should go and offer them Brian's bonus because they're struggling right now. They yeah. didn't get the lock yeah, bit, yeah, so yeah. this could be the game changer. Thank you, my friends. Mm. Well, well, it's something related to Smith, obviously. Yeah. It might have been his real character's name or his surname. Um, Who's him? But it could be, but if it could be Zano. <laughs> Apart from that. That's all you got? Yeah. Okay, well, this is the part where I offer you Brian's bonus. Brian's bonus is an extra clue, but it will cost you £100 from tonight's price. So if you take it, you'll be paid for £400. I'll let you have a think, have a chat, and I'll be back. Don't do it. I'm not as confident as last night, yeah. and, but I still think we shouldn't take Brian's bonus. Yeah. Don't do it! I don't think we should take Brian's bonus. No, I don't what think we do should think? No? No. no. Just say no. I'll say yes. Just say no. They're gonna love this. Them trousers would fit me as long trousers, you know that, don't you? <laughs> I got them out of your wardrobe. So obviously they're gonna take Brian's bonus. They're not gonna take Brian's bonus. You mean they just said no? They did indeed. Okay, folks. I'm gonna need your final answer. Zama. Zama. They didn't like your food. They won five hundred pounds, and you have to do the dishes. Ah, got it. Bad night for you. Absolutely got it. Bad day at the races. <laughs> Terrible. Right. Well, it's all done now. You've had three courses, which you clearly enjoyed. Uh, you've had six clues. You didn't take Brian's bonus. You put all them clues together, and you think that tonight's secret celebrity host is Zamo. If it is Zamo, you've won five hundred pounds, and Zamo will have to do his own dishes. If it's not Zamo, you get nothing, and you'll be doing dishes. Happy? Mm. Secret celebrity host, could you please reveal yourself? There's nothing else we can do now. Oh, it's just like fingers crossed. Why not? We could tell that he went for some other t-shirt. <laughs> you know what you did well with the clues tonight? The only one you didn't get, which you actually did afterwards, was locksmith, because he's a locksmith now. How are you? Oh. Yes, well, <laughs> right, but would you like to see what you've won? Yeah, yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah. Right, guys. Uh, and actually, I've got something else for both of you. Hang on there a second. Hey. <laughs> Pizza! Yeah. And Lee, these babies are for you. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy your money, your champagne, and your pizzas. Yeah. Lee, you enjoy the dishes. <laughs> I'm glad that Zano is doing the dishes because he deserves it because uh, the food he's dished up tonight is absolute trash. Crack on with this now, look. Oh, gee. I'm gonna be alright, aren't I? Team Foodie is so hard, they're unbelievable. Because they said, I live on takeaways. That is untrue. I live on microwaves. Come on, guys, give me a slice of pizza. Yeah. Next time, <laughs> Team Foodie's go head to head with another celebrity host. Clearly got to the same gym. Will the clues have the X Factor? Could it be someone who advertises there? Do the tiny detective discover Jake's secret? This feels really nice, but I'm gonna make a bit. And who will end up getting down and dirty in the dishes? Mm -hmm.